all things must change. Hmm, youngster, are you here to admire the flowers? Ah, but it's a shame. These glazed lilies have almost all wilted. What happened to them? Back in my day, people said beautiful sounds like laughter and singing. They would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Lila? Yes, the rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that that which lies in the deep is breaking free. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say, youngster? Borrow something? Oh, you've come to borrow the cleansing bell, yes? Apart from that, I don't have anything of value that you youngster... But it was not originally mine, either. That trinket used to belong to a friend of mine. I was a vain beauty when I was young, and... I would pester him for that bell all the time. He could not dissuade me, and so he gave it to me. But he said that if someone should come to borrow it, I'm... It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. What a weird thing to be proud of. All right, children, there is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Eh? Oh. But this is Eugene Terrace. It's got to be expensive. Oh. <laughs> An old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My- How does that work? What? There's no way Paimon would fit in there. And why do you need Paimon to go in anyway? Can't you just lift the lid and look inside? <laughs> oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot and... You are quite welcome to borrow it. If... Aren't you youngsters in a hurry to find that bell? Hop to it then. But be careful. I haven't cleaned this place up in a... If you were to get dirt on your beautiful clothes, it would take some work to clean up.
Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. Sorry to trouble you children. Please help your old lady clean up. Stone unturned. I 
must leave no stone unturned. Cool it! One of these too. Or at least we wouldn't have to camp outside. <laughs> Bet you can't keep up with me. Oh, you found it. <laughs> the youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now. Let me see. Oh, in and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. The Fatui, <laughs> child. What goes on in that mind of yours, I wonder? <laughs> I'm far too old to be quibbling with them. <laughs> but if they overreach themselves, I will do what I must. Ah, <sighs> Paimon kind of knows what you mean, but is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Leo Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, Catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the right of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? to Granny. We're supposed to return what we borrow. Oh, let you keep it. <laughs> you really are a frank child. If you want it, you can keep it. But this bell gets homesick sometimes. Who knows? It might find its way back into these old hands. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Grace. 